Well, I'm on Facts of Mars. And I didn't know if you knew this. I just learned it myself. Uh, religious leaders are getting stoned at John Hops Hopkins University in Baltimore. They've enlisted a bunch of religious leaders from different denominations, and they're giving they're giving them the uh, active agreement and poison mushrooms cause psychedelic uh, experience in order to see how whether it enhances their religious abilities or not. I thought our science was at odds with the religion, but this one is really strange. Catholic priest, rabbi, and Buddhist walk into a bar and order some magic mushrooms. It may sound like first I have a bad joke, but this scenario is playing out in one of the first scientific investigations into the effects of psychedelic drugs and religious experience, albeit in a laboratory. Rather than a bar, scientists at John Hopkins University in Baltimore have enlisted two dozen religious leaders from a wide range of denominations to participate in a study in which they will be in which they will be given a powerful doses two powerful doses of psilocybin, active ingredient in magic mushrooms. Dr. William Richards is a psychologist at John Hopkins University of Baltimore, Maryland, who was involved in the work said with psilocybin, these profound mystical experiences are quite common. It seemed like a no-brainer that they might be of interest, if not valuable, to clergy. So, let me get this straight. Now our priests and uh, pastors and stuff are going to start getting stoned. some guy, I remember his name back in the 60s, who uh, was popular among the LSD crowd. The experiment, which is currently underway, aims to assess whether a transcendental experience makes leaders more effective and confident in their work and how it alters their religious thinking. Now, they're getting stoned, so... Despite most organized religions frowning on the use of illicit substances, Catholic, Orthodox, and Presbyterian priests, a Zen Buddhist, and several rabbis were recruited. He has yet to persuade a Muslim imam or Hindu priest that's smart on their part to uh, take part, but just about all the other bases are covered, according to Richards. After preliminary screening, including mental and medical and psychological tests, participants have been given two powerful doses of psilocybin in two sessions one month apart. Sessions will be conducted in a living room like setting at New York University Johns Hopkins in Baltimore with two guides present. The participants will be given the drug and then spend time lying on the couch, wearing eye shades and listening to religious music and headphones to augment their inner inward physical spiritual journey. Oh for crying out loud. Their instructions is go within and collect the experiences, which is said after presenting work at the Breaking Convention Conference in London this month. So far, everyone incredibly values their experience. No one has been confused or upset or regrets doing it. The full analysis of the outcomes will take place after one year follow up with the participants whose identities are being kept anonymous. Too early to talk about the results, but generally people seem to be getting a deeper appreciation of their own religious heritage. He said that dogma comes from life for them in a meaningful way. They discover they really believe this stuff they're talking about. In other words, they love their trick. 
That's why I'm mom. Ugh, boy. Damn, I, will, I wish that, um... I, I'm gonna be playing comment here. Other than say it's ridiculous that we have science getting a bunch of religious leaders stoned. We have enough problems with religion right now as it is. As, uh, we're well aware. Unbelievable. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Stone Cold Sober 24-7. Thanks for watching.